So I saw a screenshot of this tweet, and of course you can't trust a screenshot of a tweet. So I dug into it a little bit more, and I found this Washington Examiner article on it. It says the tweet reemerged as the Senate hopeful is grappling with mounting evidence of financial ties to China. It goes on to state that he received more than five thousand dollars over the past two years from a Hong Kong-based telecommunications firm. And I do have quite a few questions, but I think the biggest one is, how is this still up? And he's a liar. He said that uh, quote Kelly Leffler has been campaigning with a Klansman unquote. That's not true. I mean, there, it is true that a former member of the Klan took a photo with Senator Leffler at a campaign event. Her campaign says she didn't know who he was at the time and she has condemned him. I'm sure you've taken photos with thousands of strangers. Isn't it important for candidates to tell the truth? It is, and it's even more distressing that this isn't an isolated incident. Kelly Leffler has repeatedly posed for photographs and been seen campaigning alongside radical white supremacists. And I believe they're drawn to her campaign. All right, but just to be clear, she was not campaigning with the Klansman. That wasn't true, what you said. Um so in case you guys missed it, OJ posted this Christmas picture. And if you look a little bit closer, I think his foot is giving us the middle finger. And if you look even closer up in this specific area, there's a familiar red hat. Bullshit don't come for me, but I'm Jordan, I'm 23, so I score when I'm shooting threes. In the booth, did I miss a thing? Now I'm fresh than Listerine, make the best of my misery. Shout out Andrew and Misery, man, they know we got history. Been a DC and Silver Springs, where they print all them silver things. And I caught me a silver ring, grinding hard.